he started it, he did a Franklin. And then Juke did a Featherston. And then everybody started doing each other. We had gotten too bored. <laughs> Sam Yates showed up in town. We didn't even know he had showed up in town. He was working in the armadillo kitchen. And he, uh, he made a poster and none of us, each of us thought one of the other ones did it. And we were astounded to discover that it was a new guy. And he said, well, I just looked at all the posters and figured I'd do it in the generic Austin style, which just burned us like <laughs> putting a pressing iron against the back of our heads. And uh, so everybody exploded into different directions. Uh, Danny, who was already a maestro of surface textures, got way far into that and he was way into the lettering from stock certificates and bonds and so forth, the oh, final awfully. engraving letters, yeah. Yeah, and Juke went off into his Cubist Bebop thing, which was a completely novel way. To, I don't know, anybody else could have thought of that. And Franklin had become more and more academic and was wearing out my airbrush. <laughs> and uh, I kind of the fell, fell back to my original uh, style, which was cartooning, because I've cartooned all my life, but I learned from Franklin to stop outlining things and describing them by their outlines and stop symbolizing things and to actually portray and build up density or depth with cross-hatching, essentially violating the black and white of the line and the paper but still making it where it was easily printable overnight on just a duplicator.